Hey my friends, what's going on? It's your cash flow strategist Cater. And this video today, guys, I want to answer a few questions from the cash flow strategist group on why you're not making money online. Okay, so I had to ask a question inside of the group and I asked, what is the most challenging things for you right now to why you're not making money online? And we have a few people who answered. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flash their questions on the screen and then I'm going to answer some of those questions based on the best um Best on my ability, on the best of my abilities, all right? All right, so the first question is from Naomi uh, B. Gay, all right? It says that advertising has been the problem. How do you advertise if you've been quiet since childhood, your whole life? Now, this is a question I can definitely relate to because I was an introvert. When I was growing up in high school, I was the type of student that would know the answer in the classroom, but I would not raise my hands because I did not want the attention to be on me. I would not say anything, even if the teacher was to ask a question. I did not want the attention to be on me, so I can definitely relate. Now, when you get into the advertising game, um, Naomi, if you want to make it happen for yourself, you have to give yourself a bigger reason than why you're not doing it. Let me give you a quick example. If you're a parent, for example, right? If you're a parent and you're watching, let's say Game of Thrones was your favorite TV shows, and you're watching the last episode of Game of Thrones for the season, right? You're watching it, you're sitting down and you're watching it. But you see your kid, it's going towards the stove in your house, and the stove has this boiling hot water that's coming down on the stove right that's on the stove right now and you see your kids going towards the stove are you gonna stop watching game of thrones and run after your kids or are you gonna say hey you know what ah uh, they can burn i gotta watch this show right you're gonna prioritize saving your kids well it's the same thing when you never done something before you got to put the reason why, I know this is a dramatic example, but you got to make it the reason why you got to succeed a lot bigger than the reason why you got to stay in the same position. Because if you stay in the same position, you don't do something different, you don't push yourself, guess what? You will always get the same results and you're looking for different results. So if you've never done advertising during childhood, through your whole life, you've never done any other stuff, Put your cap on and say, I'm going to learn how to do it. I'm going to force myself to do it. I'm going to push myself to do it. If that's what I really want to do, I'm going to push myself to do it. Making videos, I would never imagine in my lifetime doing that. But because I want to do it for my business, I want to do it to share value. Guess what? Even though my first couple of videos, I was shaking, I was scared, you know, my mind was running 300 miles per hour, I still push myself to do it, and now it becomes a lot easier because whatever you do over and over and over again, guess what? It gets easier for you, all right? That's my answer, Naomi. Hopefully that helps. Second question is from Brian G, okay? Brian says, structuring and creating a website for my affiliate marketing ideas. Now, Creating a website gets a lot easier, Brian, than it used to be back in the days. You know, back in the days, you'd have to know WordPress, you have to put all that stuff together. Now, there's tools that allow you to, to create a website with drag and drop a lot faster. Some of the tools that I refer people to is ClickFunnel and Builderall. Those are the two tools that I use. And, and the whole key will be go in there. They have some models already set up for you. You can see some different templates you can actually use. You can drag and drop, put your picture on there, create the words that you want in there. But it's a lot easier. So if you're a beginner and you're trying to create a website for your affiliate business, what I would say to you right now, find the top affiliates people in your, in your niche, okay? The top people that's doing affiliate business in your niche. Look at their website, take a look at their website, go inside a click funnel or go inside a builder all, try to see how can you replicate because it's a drag and drop. So you can really drag stuff on it, copy stuff from this website, change it around, see how you can replicate their website so your website can look as much as similar as possible to theirs and then start driving traffic. That's what I would do, Brian, when it comes to structuring and creating a website for your affiliate marketing ideas, okay? Second, um, third person, Alexandra. Alexandra Lewis, what's up, Alexandra? She's been a great friend. I've known Alexandra since I was a kid, really since I was like maybe 11, 14 years old. Um, we went to school together way back in the days when I was in Haiti. So it's crazy now to see her. She's still doing her business, building a business online. And Ale um, Alexandra said, hitting a plateau in sales and can't figure out what went wrong. Hey, 
so many people get to that level where they're getting sales, they're getting traffic, and then boom, like they're not getting sales anymore, they're not getting traffic, they hit a plateau or they stay consistent, not getting any traffic. Now, if you was getting sales, you was getting traffic, there's a couple of things that you want to look at. You want to look at, hey, you know, is my offer not converting anymore? Is my offer, you know, something that many of people in my niche already been seeing? They're not interested about it anymore. Is it a great offer? That's going to be one thing you got to check around. See if there's other people in the same niche. Are they getting sell with the offer? What are they doing that's actually getting them sell? You know, see how can you, maybe the people that you're bringing in, they're not really understanding what you're offering them. How can you offer them a little bit more? How can you do maybe a webinar? How can you get them together and see if you can answer the questions? You know, sometimes you got to take it to the next. You got to push yourself as far as the next level to get traffic and sell and convert the sell versus just waiting for it to happen. So if you hit a plateau, what I would say, you got to pull the drawing board. Okay, you got to see, okay, what are my ways of getting traffic? It, it, is the problem me getting less traffic? You know, am I getting less traffic than I was getting before? If you're still getting the same amount of traffic, then traffic is not your problem, okay? If you're still getting 100 leads a day, then 100 leads, you know, leads is not your problem, right? Now, if the leads stop converting, you need to look, okay, well, leads is not the problem. Maybe it's my back end. Let me see my back end. How can I fix that? Okay, and, and look to see, okay, maybe I need to do a webinar to get more conversion. Maybe sometimes it's even your, your, your card. You got to check your card. Maybe the cart is not working. You know, if you don't e commerce, I remember I was driving a lot of traffic, but people couldn't buy because for some reason my Stripe account had got shut down. I didn't receive the email, I didn't see that. So people were still going to the website, they couldn't process the payment, they were still trying to buy. And I'm over here, man, why? I was making money, I'm not making money anymore. This was going on for a week. And then when I went and checked my Stripe, and I'm like, oh, shoot, you know, my account, because, um, you know, you couldn't sell knives and there was a picture of a knife on my website and for some reason they said they had shut down my account. They had sent me a couple of emails, missed out on it and I've been just driving traffic and missing money for the last week. So you got to check from the front end to the middle to the back end to see what's going on with the website to see why you actually not getting the amount of sales that you used to get. Okay, If you hit a plateau, you got to find new strategy that's getting you new traffic so that you can start making money. That's what I would do. All right. Luttrell. Now let's go to Luttrell. Luttrell asks a question. His question says, marketing on a step-by-step -step to follow to stick with follow-up, converting customers to sell. Can you make a video on the five best tools to use for marketing, converting, and converting sales, for example, like ClickFunnels, AWeber's, etc., and stuff like that. Okay. Well, with marketing, guys, step-by-step -step to follow. Number one, when you're creating a marketing funnel, what you need to have I wish I had all those things in place. Sometimes people, they get so fast and say, I just want to make money, I want to make money, but they never have, they never create a full marketing funnel. They never create one. They would just create the capture page, get the offer in the back end, there's no follow-up. They don't create any sequence, any follow-up when the person comes in. They think once the person sees the thing, they're going to buy it. Most people, they have to see something seven times before they actually buy your offer. So that's what I highly recommend. At that stage, you definitely want to learn how to create a full funnel. Okay, when you're creating a full funnel, first thing, you're gonna need the lead page, okay, which is what people's gonna give the information, why they're interested in that product. Then you're gonna need the offer. Sometimes I do a bridge page where I give them, if I'm doing anything that has my face on the product, or if I'm doing anything that's attracting people that I know, I'll do a video in between. I call it a bridge page or a bridge video, then I'd explain to them, hey, this is who I am. Um, this is why you should get this offer. This is why it'd be good for you. I've been using it for a while and I have a team constructed around it or I have something, I have some bonus for you, whatever. You know, you have to create that in between so they can feel relatable, like, you know, and, and then it'll be a lot easier for them to buy. But then if they don't buy after you send them to your sales page, you still got to follow up with them with a couple of emails. Maybe email number one, you send them the offer. Email number two, you don't send them the offer again because they didn't buy. You send them, you know, maybe a little video that gives a little extra details of the offer. You know, touch on the pain point. If your offer is going to teach them how to get traffic and leads, like um, Alexandra here, so I would send them another email on day one, on day two, 
Now, I set it up on automation with a video number two that explains to them, hey, I know you can't get traffic in leads right now. I want to share with you four of my top sources of getting traffic in leads. One of them is YouTube. Okay, the second one is Facebook. This is how I use Facebook. The next one is Craigslist. This is how I use Craigslist. And the next one that I use is Instagram. And this is how I use it. Those are my five, four types way of getting traffic. Now you understand how to get traffic. You need an offer that's converting right now in order for you to make money with that traffic. Well, click down below and get this offer that I'm promoting that's proven to be working for me and my team. And let's get going. See, now you train them. You educate them. Now, you make it a lot easier for them. Maybe they saw the offer and they didn't understand how am I going to promote this? How am I going to get traffic? How am I going to get people? But you just explain to them, hey, this is what you're going to need. So you can get people to this offer. Guess what? They feel more comfortable now to spend money and buy this offer because now they know that's not going to be a problem to them to get traffic and leads. So I say definitely set up a full funnel. As far as tools, I usually put the tools, the two main tools that you need. If you're building a business online, I usually put them in all my videos. You know, I usually put, you need a, a, a page builder, which I use um, a click funnel or builder all. Those are the two ones that I use. Or you, uh, also you need a, a, you need an autoresponder, you know, which is the goal is to build your autoresponder to the, as much as people as possible that is targeted, train them, educate them, and help them make buying decision that is great for them. All right, so the next question is from, let's take the next question. Next question is from Edward, Edward Hernandez. Edward Hernandez says that closing sales and following up is the problem for him. All right, closing sales, guys. A lot of the time when you're a beginner, um, it's best to get and it gets the best direct interaction. Although we can set up the email, although we get the automation going, but getting on the phone with someone, especially in the beginning, you know, if you don't have a following, people don't know you yet, they haven't followed you, you know, the sales will come if you get yourself out there. If you get yourself out there, you make videos, like right now you're watching this video, you see I'm a real life person, you know, you've seen many of my videos, and, and that would kind of pull you to buy a lot faster than someone you don't know who you're buying from, you never seen them before, you know, they just send you an email. So, it, you know, direct interaction will increase your sale a lot faster. Meaning that if you get on this, if you get on the phone with them, if you schedule a phone call, you tell them, hey, schedule a phone call with me, I'll talk to you on the phone and I'll explain to you why, whatever questions you have, I'll take it. It'll be easier for you to close those sales. That's why high ticket sales, coaching calls, coaching sales. I usually use the phone to close those because people's not just gonna watch a video and drop $2,000 or ain't drop $10,000 or $20,000 on, on a coaching or on a product. So some of those higher tickets, they definitely require for you to have direct interaction when people can say, hey, hater, those are my fears right now. Hey, you know, I'm taking this out of my retired money. Um, what is the best way can I actually start a business online right now, part-time while I'm still working a job? You know, what are the plan? What are the strategy? How are we going to do this? You know, I really want to quit my job. What's the goal? How can we hit 100 bucks a day, then hit 200 bucks a day, then hit 500, then 1,000? How are we going to break it down? See, those are a little bit, those are questions and concerns that people's going to have. And if you can relax their mind, you know, how's your product going to help me? How me buying your product? Because at the end of the day, people is in it for them, right? When, when you're trying to sell a product to a customer, you're trying to close a deal, you're not looking, oh, you're going to make the commission, you're going to make the money. Really what you want to look at is how is this product going to help them? How is this product going to help that person get to their goal? Because that's what the persons want. They don't just want to give you their money. They want to get to their goals. They want to, to, to see how your product can help and, and benefit them in, in that way. So when you start thinking of the customer, that's going to allow you to close sales a lot faster. Think about their needs, their fear, and how you can handle that for them, how you can help them process that. And my friend, that's going to help you to close sales a lot faster, you know, closing sales. And as far as following up, following up, I do a lot of my follow-ups with videos like this. You know, with webinars where I bring them on a webinar and I train them and then I ask them questions at the end of the webinar like I'm doing right now. Tell me your questions. How can I help you? Um, I can give you some example. I've been doing this thing for the last seven years and I have some good, 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 good. Um, I have some good time under my belt. You know, I've been doing this thing for a little while and I, and I know uh, how a lot of stuff works. So I can help you. OK, so let's go to the next question. Tori Moore say consistency. You know, consistency, guys, is just, <laughs> with consistency, you got to decide. 
you got to decide to show up every single day. That's the key with consistency. Like if you're going to be consistent, you got to create a pattern. Like me, my pattern of making videos, sometimes you'll see there was time I was making two videos a week. And then I decided, hey, let's take it to the next level. Then I did four videos a week. But now I'm dropping like one video every single day. Like it's, and I show up every day, whether I feel like it or not. This is where consistency matters. Because your feelings is what's going to stop people from being consistency, being consistent. Because a lot of people will make a decision at the beginning of the year. Hey, you know what? I'm going to change my life. I'm going to make a video every single day. I'm going to send out an email every single day. You know, I'm going to build my business every single day. And then... You know, the feeling they said that was excitement, was, man, I'm going to kill it, I'm going to crush it, I'm going to go to a whole next level. But there's someone that says that true consistency is when you have to do something after the feelings that you set it in is long gone. So that's true consistency. True consistency, like the feeling, you were so excited, but today you're so grumpy. Like, man, the sun is just not waking up. Like, things are going in a different direction. You wake up, everything is going in a different way than expected. The kids are crying, you know. Um, everything is going wrong. Like, your bills are due. You just got cut off on your cell phone bill. Like, you know, you forgot to pay the cell phone and they cut off your phone. They cut off your water. They cut off your electricity because you don't have any income to pay. You still got to shoot that video. If, you're, if you say, hey, I'm going to shoot that video, it doesn't matter what happened around you. Like You don't let the circumstances of what happened stop your goal. Your goal is to get that business rocking. And you're going to work it out through the storm, to the good weather, to the good time, to the bad time. You will show up. And that's how you establish true consistency. Do not pay attention to your feelings because that's what's going to get you. You know, today I feel discouraged. I can't shoot a video, I don't know what to talk about. Oh man, I can't find what you talk about. Oh man, I'm running out of content, I don't know. You gotta force yourself, like it doesn't matter. I'm gonna turn on this camera, we're gonna get to work. We're gonna get to rock, and that's consistency. I'm gonna get in front of my computer, and we're gonna get some content going for my business. That's true consistency. You know, that's the best way to become consistent, is to do everything that you gotta do without your feeling being involved. That's why they said business, you don't mix business with emotions because your emotions change at any time. But your business goals cannot just keep changing on a day-to-day. -day. Because if you have a goal, that's where I want to go. You just keep going there until you get there. Don't just like, today I'm not feeling well, I'm not feeling good. My goal changed, so we can't reach our goal. We can't make it. So that's the key with consistency, Tori. Um, Evita. Evita says that building funnel to get leads, okay? Building funnel to get leads has been the problem. Building funnel, guys, like I said, um, building funnel. I have a course called the Cash Flow Strategies Entrance Gate. So this is going to teach you the step-by-step -step on how to start, you know, building your own funnel, how to put it together, what you need to have. It's not hard at all. There's a lot of program, like I said, Will, with you can get more intricate details, but a lot of them, they already have the step-by-step -step foundation set up for you. You can just click on create funnel and click funnel, and it will give you the, um, the capture page. Then it will give you a landing page. Then it will give you a sales page. It will give you a branch page. So all you got to do is really put the content on those stuff, you know? So really, when you really understand the psychology of a funnel, a funnel is like going to McDonald's, right? When you go to McDonald's, they don't just take your money. Right, which is the end goal for them to take your money. That's the last thing you do, right? You take your money, they give you a product. That's the last thing. But that's not what happened when you just appear in the in the drive through. You you come in the drive through, right? The first thing they ask you, hey, welcome to McDonald's. They welcome you. How you doing today? What would you like to order? Then you go in process and say, hey, I'd like to order a Big Mac. You know. <laughs> I'd like to order some coffee this morning, right? And then they say, would you like some chocolate? Would you like some cream in it? Hey, we got a two for one. Would you like to try that, right? So then after you take in your order, you go through the drive through and they process the payment. They say, hey, this is $7.58. Oh, this is $20 for today. Thank you. Give me your card and, and I can give you your order. They give you your card to process the money. And then they go to the next window and they say, here you go. Here's your order. Same thing with a funnel, guys. Same process. The person coming, hey, how you doing? My name is Cater. Would you like to learn how to get 
you know, how to make your first 200 hours a day online, please give me your information here. Put your name and your email, right? That's my first contact with them, right? Maybe the first contact is this video and I say, what's up? What's going on? Hey, I want to teach you how to better your life or whatever. Um, go to my website, okay? Go to my website so that you can actually put your name and email. I'll send you more information. You go to the website, put the name and email, first contact with me. And then now on the branch page, this is where I welcome them. Hey, Welcome, thank you for actually coming in. Here's the process, here's what we got for you. Which one, which product that you have, you want? Oh, this is the product that I have for you today. Would you like to buy it? If you'd like to buy it, give me your credit card, put your info, buy it, this product will change your life. And then boom, after they buy it, the product is sent to them, just like going to McDonald's. That's the, that's the goal, guys. So I tell people, anytime that someone wants to come into my funnel, um, my goal, my intention is to do business with you. Like, you know, if you see that I send you an email that sells you a product, that sells you something, my intention is to do business with you. It's to give you a product that's going to help you. Just like you don't go to McDonald's, you're hungry, you're there for a reason. You come to my page for a reason. You watch my video for a reason. You know, I have products and different things that teaches you exactly how to make money, how to create financial freedom. So, therefore, I'm going to send you this product, and, and if you buy them, you go through them, you, you apply them, you should be able to see results. For yourself all right so now let's take the last question okay the last question now if you're watching this um youtube you have any questions for myself i'll do a repeat drop all your questions down below that you have any concern for business or whatnot this is for the people in my cash flow strategies group wanting to do that ask the questions what is the most challenging part of building a business and those are the um, answers and questions that people have just want to make a video maybe that might shed some light for you that's watching right now all right, the last one is from Frenzy. Frenzy says that Frenzy Gabad, he said autoresponder and automation. I know the keyword automation, guys, is one of the most powerful keywords in online business. And I think people want automation. People want the for things to be easy, like I can just automatically make money online. And and it's as far as um, automation, you have to set it up. And uh, th here's the trick. The trick is a lot of people don't want to set it up. A lot of people love automation. They say, Cater, I want automation, but they don't want to set it up. You know, before you have the automation, you have to set it up. And that's where it gets challenging because sometimes you got to learn the tool and you're going to bang yourself. Oh, my God, I don't understand how to set up this autoresponder. Oh, my God. You know, that, that's where your time is going to spend. You still got to put in some effort because setting up a sequence of seven emails to go out instead of you having to write seven emails every single day it's a lot easier setting up seven videos right some people who's not they'll not send from the camera and shoot seven videos for a sequence that's going to go out to seven people there's on seven days to explain to the person hey why you should buy a product why you should buy they won't sit down and do it but they want the automation see i can tell you i promise you automation but without tools without understanding how to use the tools without you know setting up some stuff the automation doesn't work so automation, the key is, you know, um, be willing to do the things that is required to set up the automation. Like making a video, like YouTube is like an automation to me. Instead of having to talk to a thousand people every single day and say, hey, how you doing? Maybe go on the street, find a thousand people to talk to. I can make a video, post on YouTube, I get 10, 20, 100. I got videos that has half a million views, you know, 500 thousand people watch it so instead of me going to the street and meet up 500,000 you know how long it's gonna take me to meet up 500,000 people on the street to say hey how you doing um here's what I got for you today it'll take me years guys but I can shoot a video on YouTube and in the same second it automate to a, a thousand people and everybody's watching it at the same time and I'm giving everybody the same message at the same time that's automation at its purest form, right? So you can utilize stuff like that. YouTube automation, same thing. I build an email list with hundreds of thousands, six figures of people. If I want to send something out right now to get to 100,000 people, I can do that. So you build it. But the key is you have to build it. If you don't have an email list that has 10,000 people or 1,000 people, you have to build it first before you can send out an email to 1,000 people. So you got to build the automation before you have it. If you can create an Instagram tool that'll, that'll uh, you know, like people's picture and then get them to follow back or follow them, you got to set up the tool. You know, if you're going to do a, a Facebook strategy that involves messaging 100,000 people or 10,000 people or 1,000 people from your fan page, you got to set up tools like ManyChat. And then whenever you do something, you boom, you send an offer to all those people and they'll go straight up to the inbox, you know, with a 98% or 99% delivery rate, you know, whatever the case is, but you have to set up these things, guys. 
automation only work if you automate it you know if you don't automate it if you don't create the automation it's not going to work so those are my students questions from the cash flow strategist you know I know you might have different questions I know you might have different concerns when it comes to building a business online it was your boy cater just wanted to share this stuff with you you know um, I face a lot you know building my business to the journey and this there's, there's gonna be many different things sometimes system is gonna change offer is gonna change stuff is gonna change change are inevitable that like you cannot stop change from happening something that was working today you was making great money you know, you was killing it, it's gonna stop working. Like, eventually, it's gonna stop working. The key if you are an entrepreneur, you have to be able on the day that it stopped working, on the time that it stopped working, to solve the problem. To find either find something else that's working better, either um, you know, fix it and get it to work back the way it used to, or better. You know, your your goal as an entrepreneur, you have to be able to handle problem. That's why if you're in the beginning, if you're beginning of stage of your of your career right now, you're gonna face minor problem. Believe it or not, you might feel like man, setting up auto autoresponder is freaking headache. You know, setting up a capture is a lot of headache. I don't know how to do it. Kiddo, you can do it while you sleep. But guess what? As you grow, you get bigger, you're going to have bigger problems. The problem never stops, so you better get used to it. If those little problems stop you from building a business, imagine now when you have gateway problem, when you was making $100,000 a month, and then now you know a, a gateway say, hey, we're going to hold all the money. You can't process any money right now. You have six months for you to get that money back. Imagine now you're building that now. Now you don't have no cash flow. You have advertising people, maybe you have people on staff to pay, and you, you're gonna deal with bigger problems. The problem never stops, you know, you, you, there's always gonna be problem, but with every problem come an opportunity for success, for you to have a solution to grow and to become successful, and that's how successful people think. They don't think of the problem, they always think of solution. They always think on how can I get this thing to the next level, because we all gonna face with problem. Anyway, that was your cash flow strategy, Kato, your boy. If you do find value in this video, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, check out my cash flow strategies group. Um, this is where it's a free group you can actually get in. I don't know how long it's going to be free for, but jump in now. I teach multiple strategies on how to build a business online, what I've been doing for the last year to create a business online that create cash flow every single day, and how can you create cash flow every single day. All right, if you do have questions for myself, drop it below. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. It's a beautiful, beautiful day Get in the game, balls in your lane Push start, push through, you can do it I'm here to put you on, so let's crush it Don't stop, don't quit, go against the odds And we'll shine bright like a diamond Hold your breath, dive deep, cause I got your back Living life, living dreams Let's make that party stack, never